Lack of access to healthcare services results to 6.3 million African deaths every year. Our team is coming up with a universal, super fast, user friendly website that is a completely new way to connect patients to healthcare services. In our system, MediChap will connect patients directly to their preferred healthcare professionals from different healthcare institutions remotely from wherever they are. Currently, we're working on our first phase of this amazing application where we developed patient and hospital registration. How this would work is a client would be able to log in onto a platform and register for the services that would be offered by a hospital. A hospital also would be able to register onto a platform and they would be able to give the services that they would allocate onto our platform. Since this is our first time working completely remotely, we did face some challenges. Some of them include inadequate skills so we can come up with a mobile application. One of the challenges we really faced was looking for a mobile app developer. And since in our team nobody was, nobody had worked with a mobile application language per se, such as React Native, and no one was exposed in such kind of an environment where we would be able to design such an application. This was a major setback because one of the things we wanted was an application whereby everybody with a smartphone, whether an Android or an iPhone, would be able to access our platform. But to cap this challenge, we decided to go with a progressive web application. This will address all our, all our challenges, especially coming up with an application. We decided a progressive web app would address this challenge and we moved forward. Challenge number two we faced this week was using DevOps and Scrum methodology. Actually, we are, personally, I have never used Scrum methodology and the DevOps, I had only used the Azure portal. So that was actually very challenging, but it was actually mind opening. I was actually very amazed by what you can do with DevOps. I'm actually starting to love the DevOps, DevOps culture. We worked with the Scrum methodology. Uh, that was actually a very nice way to approach our application because we are following all the principles for the Scrum method. Luckily though, our mentors came in and they had a chat with us and we had to ask around and we got so much information from everyone we were able to gather enough information to help us start off with our project. Team Medichap, viva! I'm working on the mobile platform for the entire application. So for the mobile part, I'm doing both the front end and it also has a bit of the back end. And we've been collaborating through um, DevOps Azure and it's been a nice process together. So this is where I work from. So this is my workstation. I was trying to finish up with something and then hopefully submit it in good time because it's a crucial part of the system. It's like one of the basis part, the base of the system. I am working on the web platform using Laravel, and I can say it has been a quite nice journey and an opportunity to learn Laravel. And some of the challenges I can say that I have faced during this one week is during learning and implementing using a new language, there are a lot of errors that you come across. But my team members have been really supportive and I can say I have learned a lot. Here's what I was working on. I was I was working on the third application. Here I was basically trying to integrate maps in the Flutter app because maps is one key feature in our application. So far I'm meeting challenges definitely, but I have a very supportive team. And I'm happy so much once more to be in Team Tribal. Thanks so much. Bye. See you in Sprint 2. What I've been able to do is we have been able to start on the development. Apart from the API, we have also been able to I've also been able to start our development of the web doctors platform and the users app. So this is some this is some of the code for the website for the doctors portal and data.
uh, and that for the mobile app and voila this is the doctor's portal you can the doctor can sign in or or create an account with remedy and immediately they become operational and they can give access to medical services to other, to their patients this is the mobile application um, you can create an account you can sign up you can can also sign up and you can use sign up with 365 office 365 for people who work in who are who use who would rather use their office account uh, we were able to build and deploy our backend on microsoft azure and on top of that we were able to come up with the documentation for the mobile app so i'm going to share my screen and um, yeah so we were able to deploy our our backend on microsoft azure and come up with a documentation for the backend uh, this was the focus for Sprint One, so that uh, when building the other client applications, either the doctor's portal or the or the mobile application, we can we can be able to have an endpoint to consume from. And also uh, for Sprint One, we were able to achieve quite a lot. Most of everything we had we had uh, planned for, as you can see. Uh, Almost 75% of everything we had planned for last week was able to be completed on time. Uh, you can also be able to see our burn down chart of all the development activities uh, for Sprint 1 on DevOps, uh, building the pipelines. Um, so we had some challenge building the, the Vue.js pipeline, and uh, but at, at the end of it all, we were able to pull it, pull it together. Yeah. Are you going about your daily business and suddenly feel unwell or experience an emergency and can't get access to quick medical attention? Team Motion is working on a solution for you. We're developing a healthcare system or rather a general medical tool that will allow the user get prompt and reliable medical attendance remotely or and may further get connected to a qualified practitioner. Uh, so this week we managed to work on the authentication of the web app and the bot service that will act as our medical assistant by making it smarter and more interactive to the queries of the user. We have been working hard to ensure we complete our project within the stipulated five weeks time. With the help of our mentors, Lois Kivisi and Anthony Nyutu, we managed to establish a clear perspective of what you're supposed to do and we are working towards that. Just being receptive to learn. I also would like to have people who don't just agree on stuff I say or do. Getting that challenge sometimes, challenge of like people being able to freely express their opinions, being able to discuss because that's how we bring out the best in people. So, so challenge me as I challenge you and let's, I think let's grow together. And why even a volunteer to be be a mentor is it's not about me being an engineer or a developer, but the issue is any product that you engineers develop has to make sense to the end user. Most 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 times what we do is we actually create and especially not only you, but mostly even engineers, uh, I mean, uh, developers produce a product that they feel that they need. This will change the world. It's the other way around. You don't look at the problems of the customer or the consumer then come up with a product is just because you dreamt you can go to mass then you start producing that thing that is going to mass why then you don't know at the end of the day you produce a white elephant thing nobody picks it up because it was only you and your crazy you that could only pick it up and nobody's willing to invest in it there is opportunities to develop those things which could be ahead of time and there is the real world where you develop a solution for a need or a pain that is already there. This could be one of the good things because of what you've explained, the short conversation that we've had. So the idea is to actually come and, and maybe guide the team as a consumer, as a final user, to tell you guys, I don't see how this is going to help me. Because at the end of the day, you want to produce something that is going to make sense. And probably at the end of the day, maybe get revenue out of it or get something out of it. It's not just a game. For me, I believe there needs to be something out of it at the end of the day because they need to be a purpose and a reason of all you do. It's not just the sake of it. I mean, you have a certain time on earth 
to live, right? So every moment and every time that you have, you need to make sense and make use of it the best way you can. And at the end of the day, the results that come out of it need to be very clear. You need to be very objective in what you're doing and you need to have that end goal at the end of it. I'm not expecting anything but team motion to win. Well, for Team Mizizi's first sprint, we were able to create a landing page. Um, the landing page was successful. It had all the necessary features, with some of them working efficiently, like the test your knowledge bot was created to a point where it is fully functional within our first sprint. Additionally, we had a bunch of challenges within our, in our week. First was the familiarization of the, the team members with different technologies which some of them haven't used before and it was an uphill climb but it was one we were able to overcome. Um, additionally we met our mentors and it was a very interactive session. We got to know each other, we got to get motivated by them and additionally we decided we'd planned on manners to collaborate in the following sprints. It was a very good experience. So for this particular sprint we decided to come up with a test your knowledge board whereby the user is tested on how much he or she knows about uh, knows about health so the team was able to work well i must say uh, we really tried in terms of uh, getting in touch with each other especially for people who have uh, well this new for this is a new form of networking. We are used to groups uh, meeting physically. Uh, also, the use of uh, various technologies that we were not yet conversant with. And for us to be able to achieve that, it was it required a lot of communication to and forth communication. I must say that uh, the team carried itself out well because, as you can see, we already have a working a working bot which was just part of the which was part of our intention or part of our task for this particular sprint so we ensured that um, we ensure that the problems that we had were the problems that we encountered in the course of our development were addressed to our our mentors who I must say uh, Jerton and, and uh, Tess have been a great help of providing us the necessary knowledge in terms of uh, when we ask questions, they respond adequately, and also uh, the support, the kind of support that we have. Generally, the team spirit is a very good spirit. Um, working till midnight, well, that's new. Whenever no one, no one takes this project uh, as though another person is supposed to be responsible. It's a teamwork because it doesn't matter whether we are in the back end or the front end. The matter is, is this problem? Can this problem be addressed? Can we address this problem? So we must say that for this particular sprint has been a good, it was a good sprint. And I really hope that we can continue with the same, same intention, with the same, same, uh, with the same, same purpose, with the same, same spirit of togetherness and uh, collaboration. Otherwise, it was an excellent sprint.